PhD is a training to make you an independent researcher. That means we are professional Googler or professional online stalker. But beyond all that, today I'd like to take you to take a look at the web of science because research institution will have subscribed to web of science. So if you're not already using web of science, I hope you will check out this video. I'll put a link below so that you can learn all the basic operation using Google Scholar that include using and, not, or, an asterisk, ask your librarian about Web of Science if you are not familiar with it. Hi, this is Vera Chen from PhD Coffee Time. Today, I'd like to show you a few key features I found useful in the Web of Science. It includes how to look up literature, um, like you would have done in Google Scholar. How does the Web of Science core collection different from the Google Scholar search? How to navigate through massive number of literature and find out what you want using the refined search functions. When you are new to a field, how do you identify who are the experts in the field, so-called in the key opinion leaders? How to look up funding agencies that are already funding your field of research? There are ways to visualize your search finding from literature list, and I will go through them one by one coming up. If you are also a researcher or you are doing a PhD, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when the next video is coming up. I hope my videos on YouTube is going to help you become a more efficient researcher so you have more time for the science and less worry about the technical part. So today I use the example of coronavirus because it is a common topic of research interest. And I like to use that topic because I am a marine biologist and I like to demonstrate the power of web of science on a topic that I am not an expert in and how I can learn and become more familiar with that research field. I hope that's assuring to some people out there who are new to research and wanting to learn and get started. First, you can go to Google Web of Science, webofknowledge.com. And if you click in it, it will take you to a library login interface and you will have to log in through the instruction from your librarian from your institute. After logging in, you will see this interface of Web of Science. The first thing you may notice is the database is on the Web of Science core collection, which is also the database I suggest. Let's try typing in coronavirus and do a quick search. You'll find that we have about 14,000 peer-reviewed articles under Web of Science. But if you search the same thing on Google Scholar, you will see the number is inflated. Search the same thing on Google, you will get an explosive number of 4 billion, including all the news and other, other reports that are not scientific. Web of Science gives you all the peer-reviewed articles from different journals. You can organize your search result by publication years, by category of research topic. At the top, you can also sort your result by date, time of citation, and the relevance of the search term. If you click on search on the top left, you can go back and modify your search terms. Here, let's type another qualifier by adding a row for the topic of Wuhan and then make the operator as N. Now you see our result is updated. Instead of 14,000, we have only 44 research paper and articles. If this is a topic of your interest, you could also click create an alert so that there will be emails sent to your mailbox once there is a new article coming up. You can also go back and modify the search term to make it excluding all the Wuhan virus paper. You can sort the results by relevance. It will provide all the relevant paper according to your search term. Sometimes you may just want to have an idea what are the highly cited paper in the field looks like. So it comes handy when you click on the time cited. This is a quick way for you to understand what are the papers out there that you should not miss. 
if you write your first literature review. Also, if you go to the left hand side, you are allowed to select paper which are highly cited in the field, papers that are open access. By selecting document type and review paper, you can first make yourself familiarize with the field by reading the, re the review articles and perhaps the most highly cited review paper um, so that you won't miss the most important work in your field. And Web of Science is also practical for students who are looking for opportunities for a research program. Say, for example, you're interested in performing coronavirus research. You could go down to Organization Enhanced by clicking More Values and Options. Then you can get a list of organizations that are active in this research topic. And the number in brackets are the number of publications generated by this institute. So in this case, um, the University of Hong Kong and Chinese Academy of Science and the University of California system are all great places for research on coronavirus. The list goes on. You could also click Refine to go and check out all the papers that were published in that institution. That way, you can also identify who are the research team leaders and who are the professors that you could contact for potential projects for a PhD. You can also organize your search results by authors, and that way you are able to see who are the researchers that produce the most number of paper in the topic of your research interest. And most of these are searchable on also Google. So if you want to know about the researcher in more details, you may be able to find out about the institutional website and the publication record. If you're looking for funding as a postdoc or a young PI, you can go to funding agencies after your search term and you can refine the results and also give more um, idea on where are these funding agencies supporting your research interests. If you click on the analyze results, you will be taken to this page where you will see, for example, by topics of research paper that is under the same search term. Under this visualization tree map, you can see this search term is under virology, microbiology, veterinary sciences. That's because coronavirus is originated from wildlife. You can do the same by clicking the funding agencies. You can visualize the tree map on what are these funding agencies supporting the research. The same thing can go uh, with the example of authors. The rectangle, which area is biggest, meaning the author has the most, has more paper. It's just another way to see the same thing. Another visualization that is practical, especially if you're presenting a new topic, the number of publications in your keyword per year. You can see this bar chart is demonstrating the number of publications for each year, and you can see there are not many paper before 2003 before the SARS outbreak on the topic of coronavirus. This might just be the type of information you want to share and to make a point of how your field has developed in the past few years. Please comment below whether this is some tricks that you have learned in these videos um, on Web of Science or are you already a Web of Science user? And if you have any question, Please feel free to screen capture your problem and tag my Instagram page, PhD Coffee Time, without space, and I will make sure to look at your problem. I hope to see you on the other social media handles. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time.